Guys, let us talk about Ebuga's dismal fail at exposing Tabang and Kosi's shenanigans. So last week Sunday during the live eviction show, Ebuga completely destroyed Yemi's game. He did this by exposing the way that Yemi has been maneuvering around Kosi and Blue. And he came at him from all angles. As a result of this, Yemi had to end things with Blue because now his game has been exposed and now Kosi was fully aware of what he has been doing with Blue. Yemi's fans were not happy about this, so they came for a booger and blamed him for ruining Yemi's game. They were cursing at Ebuka for exposing Yemi's game and saying that he is responsible for the downfall of Yemi. So now he needs to shake things up with Kosi since last week he only did this one sided of which he was coming for Yemi. Well guys, last night during the live eviction show, Ebuka did exactly what Yemi's fans wanted him to do. He came out gun blazing at Kosi. He asked Kosi whether she has been completely honest with Yemi about her siblingship, should I say, or her relationship with Tabang. So after the live eviction show, we all wanted to hear Yemi confronting Kosi about all the things that Ebuga was saying. So they went out into the garden and Yemi asked Kosi what is actually happening between her and Tabang. And Kosi said, I already know that he likes me. Then Yemi asked her, do you like him too? So Kosi answered and said, she does like Tabang, but not in a romantic way. Not that she wants to be with him. Yo, Kosi is a liar, guys. I mean, she told Yemi that she already knew or she already knows that Tabang likes her. After she told Ebuga that Tabang has never said that he likes her, how does that add up? I mean, how? One minute you're claiming that you know that Tabang likes you, the next you're saying that he has never said that. So how do you know? And yet again, Yemi believes Kosi's lies. So guys, after their little chat, and Big Brother announced that all the housemates need to move to the arena where he had prepared dinner for them. They went in there. It was a lovely setup. Kosi and Yemi were slow dancing. They were happy. It was as if they were celebrating their anniversary. And during this lovely dinner, Kosi managed to have a quick conversation with Tarang whilst they were both dishing out stew for themselves. So Tamang asked Kosi if she's okay, and Kosi said she's not okay. Are they going to take a break? Tabang asked her if is that what she wants and Kosi said she is merely asking. That's when Tabang said I'm going to chill for a bit just for things to die down and then I will make a move on you. After the dinner was done and all the housemates were back in the house, Kosi was sitting by herself in Santin and she seemed a bit miserable. Just after a moment she was smiling and she was blushing. While well, the camera showed us who was actually downstairs and looking up at her, that's when we saw Tabang at the far end and he was actually carrying two drinks. That means he signaled for Kosi to come downstairs to him because Kosi immediately stood up and started going downstairs. Right now Kosi and Yemi are laying in bed and Kosi is feeding Yemi lies about Tzatzi, Kanaga and Marvin. Instead of her explaining her shenanigans with Tabang, she is feeding Yemi lies about Marvin and Tzatzi and also Kanaga Jr. Finally, Yemi decides to address the issue between him and Kosi and Tabang. So he says that he realizes now that he is being played by both Kosi and Tabang and it pains them that he was in great support of their friendship. So Yemi tells Kosi that he is deeply pained by the way that he played him and that he knows that she was flirting with Tabang both directly or indirectly. Even though Yemi is admitting all of this, but still he is not ending things with Kosi. Yo guys, whatever Kosi is doing to 
Yemi, it is working for her because she has Yemi wrapped around her little finger. Well, Yemi was a player in the beginning, but what he didn't know is that he is actually dealing with a coach. Guys, that's it for now. It seems like this ship between Kosi and Yemi, it is not ending anytime soon. Even though Ibuka tried to tackle it, it seems like they are both holding on. Well, guys, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Bye.